Salon t-shirts already. What's up guys, Hobo88 here and welcome back to the World of Outlaws Dirt Racing game. And this is the first part of career mode. We're going to go in here and start our career in this video. Uh, if you want to get my impressions and a general look at the overview basics around the game, I already have done a video before, so head back and check that out. I'll put a link in the description below. But in this video, we're going to kick off the campaign um, for the uh, career mode and see what that's all about and hope that it's good and hope that it lives up to the hype that we have been hearing about it. So uh, let's get cracking straight into it. We'll get started straight away. Um, we'll see what it looks like. So first things first, we're going to go in here and uh, load up career mode. Battle your way to the national stage. All right, so here we go. Again, in this video, I'm just using a controller. Um, Dirt track I'm... racing is rooted in local tracks all across America. Every successful driver has been a local hometown hero at some point, and then moved up to regional events and ultimately into the national level with the World of Outlaws. I think it's uh, really important at the local level to, you know, build your fan base, interact with your fans, interact with the local community. Uh, you know, it's very important to, you know, be learning and, and try to become that hometown hero. Obviously, as you move into the regional level, uh, you got to earn respect. Uh, you got to win races outside of your hometown. Once you're at the national level, you have a lot more people relying on you. Uh, it becomes a lot more of a job. You know, you have to have a lot of mental toughness. Uh, it's a grind out here. It's easy to say that you want to go race with the outlaws, but when you pack your bag and you load your trailer with stuff and you head out on the road, um, it's like a beatdown. It's uh, probably one of the toughest things physically, mentally, financially, all of the above. And you get run down. When you're a weekly racer or you can pick and choose, you get to go home if things aren't right. You hit the reset button. Uh, when you're outlaw tough, there's no reset button. There, there's When it starts, there's no stopping. My main mentor is growing up through racing was my dad. You know, he was always there with me through go-karts. And then, you know, as I got a little bit older, I leaned on, you know, Casey Kane quite a bit. A sponsorship is obviously really important in racing. Um, I've been fortunate to have some great sponsors along the way. One key to, to running a successful race team is obviously the people that you have around you. It all starts with a great crew chief, great tire guys, and you gotta have great marketing people to help pull it all together. So it's important to have a great team around you. When you dream of being in this sport as a child, you just dream about being a sprint car driver. And then when you become a sprint car driver, you dream of being an outlaw and you race them with the, the greats that there are, the, the Steve Kinders, the Sammy Swindells. You never really can put to the ground the fact that maybe you're going to be uh, in that position one day where you're one of those guys. Now it's your turn to take your shot. Your goal is to build up a solid reputation, sign sponsorship, and continue to grow your organization, all while winning lots of races. But no matter what path you take in your career, your ultimate goal is to become a World of Outlaws Series champion. Good luck out there. We're all rooting for you. Well, there you go. There's the intro. Um, you may or may not have seen that because of the music that was in it. I might have had to delete that for the YouTube video. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I don't want any copyright strikes, but um, let's uh, let's have a look here and see what it says. So, team branding: Black Sports Racing, Iron Forge Motorsports, Golden Racing, Silver Sword Motorsports, Racing Storm, Spicy Aces, Crashing Thunder, Nasty Badger, Custom. Um, all right, let's uh, let's do uh, something custom. Call it. Uh, let's go with a. Uh, Something fairly easy. Whoops. Oh no. I clicked the wrong button. <laughs> That's not what I wanted. Hopefully we can change that. First name. Let's try and not screw this up. Um, yeah, so R2 is done. Let's not press that button. Where's the uppercase button? L2. I'll just put in my name. Uh, 
And uh, we're going from there. And we'll see whether or not we can uh, change our team name in a minute. Um, right. So I think we just go with something generic. Oh, advanced mode. Oh, right. Okay, we can change. Okay, we can change stuff around a bit. All right, so let's just go with that. Base primary. Let's change this to blue. Um, that looks pretty cool. Helmet. Zoom. There is a zoom. Look at the brown. Nice. <laughs> um, I don't really know. go with uh, I think this was pretty cool but we're going to change that obviously what could be better than a white helmet I'm sure that would go well um, alright let's just leave it at that save and start Let's see whether or not we can change the name of our uh, change the name of our team. But if we can't, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. But let's uh, let's see what happens. What's next? We're we gonna get more videos, or are we gonna get something else here? I assume we need to pick a direction or a car or something. Let's see. The search for pay. The search for pay dirt. You've started your own racing team. It takes a lot of work to build one from the ground up. In order to succeed, you'll need to win races, invest in vehicles and personnel, and earn fans to expand your HQ into new regions. A hometown start. Every new team starts their journey by racing locally, and your team is no different. Let's head into local and learn how racing in this region works. All right, so um, first things first, before I go any further, edit team branding. Here we go. We can change this, so let's, let's do this. Let's call it... Uh, Space, uppercase, there we go. Whoops, backspace. That'll work. All right, now, local. A local start, you'll be starting with $10,000 in team funds, which is enough to buy your first vehicle and get started on the track. As you progress into the regional and national circuits, additional vehicles will become available for purchase. Earn money to buy more vehicles and expand your team. It's time to choose. Here in local, you can choose from 305 sprints or street stocks. When you're ready, make your choice and head to the track for your first race. So this is where we need to make a decision. Do we want to go down the path of open wheel or closed wheel racing? We are going to go with street stocks and work our way out. That way we can try all the different classes. So let's do that. Uh, we'll purchase a vehicle for $10,000. That's all, every single last cent of our budget. All right, edit paint job. Let's do that. Is the car's got to look good. Apparently we can afford to buy some stickers. Um, all right. St style body. Um, move camera. Let's go with this one. Uh, the primary. Um, I don't want to spend too long on this. Hatton. Alright, 
I don't know that we really want any pattern on it, do we? It's the accent change, I think. Oh, that's the, the bumpers and stuff. Um, sure, let's go with blue. Copy to top. Just go... We can see it a little better. That looks pretty good. Where was it? That one. Alright, let's do it. Uh, roll cage color. Surely. Black, right? And black wheels. Uh, right side. Shapes. We're not going to do any... So we're not going to do any custom... Yeah, so you can... You can get right into this and make all sorts of cool custom stuff. Um, we're not going to do that. I'm going to try and figure out how to remove that. <laughs> how do I do that? Uh, delete. There we go. Yes. Um, add a decal. So, okay. There's a heap of decals. What's our sponsor going to be? Do we even bother with this at the minute? Um, I don't want to get bogged down too much in any of this stuff. Put uh, the VP Racing Fuels logo on it. Um, roof, wood. Okay. Let's put on. We do an iRacing logo. Why not? Um, oh. oh, what have I just done? I've just changed it because I'm not paying attention. Actually, Fox. Let's do that. It's a little big, though. Uh, we can make it bigger, uh, smaller, scale. Nice. Can we do... We can do the other side, add a decal. What do we have on the other side? It was racing fuels, yeah. That one. Rear, ah, uh, uh, yeah, it goes on this side. Sure, why not? Trunk. What do we have on the front? Box. Oh, 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 cancel. Okay. Nice. Looks good. Um, Alright, so next thing is number. Eighty eight. Uh, fonts. Not a lot of choice on the fonts. Let's go with this one. Um, reverse italic. Does that work? It's all right. Um, we're going to change this color, though. Um...
go blue. I think we just get rid of the fill. That looks good. All right, we're done. That took a little while, but we're through. So here's our car. Looks good. Um, now what do I do? Exit, save. Sweet. All right, we've got our car. What's next? Okay, so Kokomo Speedway. Kokomo is our local track. Is that right? Next event, seven and a half thousand fans it says up there in the top right uh, we are currently 61st position in the series season one all right I think that's pretty much it let's go out and hit the track and see what happens I'm assuming we'll be able to do things like car upgrades and stuff back here after we've made some money but for the time being we can't do anything to the car here we go Kokomo to kick off local street stock season I've loved racing my whole life and now I'm actually competing declared new racer me there you go by Dirt Driving News, the Dirt Car Racing Street Stock Series. Let's get out there and see what happens. I'm assuming that we will probably have a car that sucks and we'll have to improve on it with time. I'm hoping that's the case anyway. I want to come last in this race. I don't want it to be too easy, but uh, let's see what happens. I haven't seen anywhere to edit any uh, like settings or anything either. Um, all right, let's just go straight out on track. Our goal. It's a 15.654. Oh my god. It's bad. <laughs> Good. Better hit the chase cam for a minute just to see what the car looks like. Oh no, don't hit the wall! I can't afford to fix it. Looks pretty good. Now that lap was a 17.267. Oh my god, there's just no speed at all. We're gonna have to run the top and keep up the momentum. Oh, we almost we almost achieved our goal. Looks like we're rubbishly slow though. Oh my god, did we actually get the exact time that we had to get? We did to the thousandth of a second. What? Oh. All right, let's end practice before we junk the car and break it. We got our goal, that's all we need to do. All right, good luck in qualifying. All right, qualify. There's nowhere indicated to say that I need to fix anything. Um, so we'll see about that time goes by. Why do I feel like a 15.6 is only going to be good enough for like the back row of a heat race? Let's have a look and see. Oh! Looks like we're taking the uh, aggressive low line.
16-2. We took a horrible line into turn one there. So yeah, we didn't qualify well. Thirty-eighth. How many cars was there? Starting tenth in E2. Oh no. Let's have a look. Hey, we weren't last. We weren't last. But that's good. All right, heats. I don't like our chances of transferring through here. Top five advance to the A main. How many laps do we get here? Ready to go green. We're going to come last. Selling t-shirts already. Can we get this other guy as well? leader that might be the race leader I think that guy's not oh my god he's got a huge turn of speed oh they're all passing me in the end did running the bottom once really slow me down that much oh my god they passed me on the last lap oh I'm angry about that we finished last <laughs> Advance to the B main. Hey, we get another chance. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Oh, boy. We went to the bottom once and it washed off all of our momentum. All right. Uh, B main. Let's do it. Still no damage to see anywhere. I haven't really hit anything, though. We get the green flag and we're halfway down the back stretch because we're so far back. Oh, whoops, my bad, my bad, sorry about that. That's a fence. A few cones on the back stretch, but that's all good. Oh, we've actually damaged it there now. We didn't hit the wall very hard at all, but... We have... Oh, got some damage. We hit him pretty hard, but... Get out of the way! 12 laps to go.
need to get back up here and get that momentum up again. As soon as you lift, you lose all your speed. But then as soon as you hit the wall, you lose all your speed. It's not going well, guys. Oh! We're stuck together. Come on, we need to get some speed back up. We're just bogging down. We've got nothing up here. Alright, that was a little better. Only five laps to go. squeeze we get through oh we gotta get this yellow car last lap Another lap and we might have got the dude in the red as well. But we got up to 12th. Not bad. Not bad. We'll take that. We didn't even get lapped <laughs> in the B main. View replay. Car looks pretty good. It's not very fast though. few dramas at the start. Alright, I think that's enough. Let's see, uh... We win anything much. 32nd. 26 in the standings somehow, even though we finished 32nd here. Math. Finish event. Confirm. All right, let's see what it says. That was good fun, even though we uh, we suck. I like that it's hard, though. I like that it, yeah. So, so what do we win? $2,100. We made 107 fans. Is that all that we made? Oh, part condition. Here we go. All right. Here we go. So let's have a look. 30 second. Up next is Grant Park. Uh, parts and repairs. Here we go. I was hoping that there'd be some sort of... Uh, some sort of damage slash maintenance system involved here. Um, all right. So what have we got? Repair tires, three dollars. Good, good value. And repair all parts, thirty-three dollars. Apparently. So let's do that. Repair all parts. Oh wow, they were, they were like ruined. Okay. 
Um, so how much does this stuff cost? It doesn't tell me. Suspension, chassis, engine. Um, so let's say suspension. Uh, here we go. This is where we can do it. Parts. Parts play a crucial role in your vehicle's performance and durability. Purchasing and upgrading parts is key to your success at the track. So uh, purchasing parts, higher level parts provide increased performance potential. Full potential can only be achieved by upgrading it once installed. All right, so upgrading parts. Parts can be upgraded three times with each upgrade providing unique benefits. Upgrading parts is the most cost-effective way to see significant performance and durability gain. So make sure to use this to your advantage. So um, we've got $2,000. We can upgrade. Okay, so you have to do them in, you have to do them in order. Okay, there's quite an upgrade path as well. So you can upgrade. Okay, right. Okay, I see. So Level one upgrade, we can choose between three different options. Plus two for performance, plus 1.2 for durability. This one, more performance, less durability. And uh, performance here is plus three. So this is right in the middle for performance, but is better for durability. I mean, I'm just going to go that one. But that was quite affordable. I'll take one of those. And then... Is that applied then? It must be. So can we upgrade? Okay, purchase upgrade. I mean, we're just going to do all of these, aren't we? So purchase part. Yeah, okay, so we can't afford that. All right, okay, okay. Let's just do the uh, level one upgrades across the board. See what sort of a difference that makes to our performance. Um, so let's see what that does. Let's do that. Um, okay, so. Uh, no, no sponsor. Next contract opportunity in one race, though. So we we'll go again. Uh, our career options. We didn't look at this before. I didn't see this before. So difficulty. It's all of our normal stuff. Okay, so this is stuff we can set from the main menu anyway. So that's all good. I'm not going to worry about any of that. All right, start next event. Let's do it. We'll go to Grant Park Speedway in Indiana, a three-eighth mile multi-groove low banked track. We'll see. This will be new. I haven't ever heard of Grant Park Speedway before. I'm assuming some of these uh, tracks come from previous Monster Games titles, but I never played them, so. Alright. What's our goal? An 18-2. Let's do it. Feels a little bit more uh, powerful than it did in the last race. Oh, we've already hit the target time. Oh, sorry, sir. Is there going to be a high line, though? We're going to be stuck single file around the bottom. It's like the bottom. It's going to be the way to go. I think the middle will be too slick, right? I'm 
middle worked out right for us there. This bottom does not feel very fast. Oh! But it's the quickest that we've done. Oh no, it's not. The 18 flat was. Oh my goodness, look at how quick those guys are on the top. There, no, we're half a second slower. I thought we were half a second faster. Although, once you really get the momentum up. So there is a high groove. You just really got to get the momentum rolling. All right. That'll do for practice. I've learned what I need to learn. All right, well, at least we're achieving our uh, practice goals anyway. So qualifying next. What were we third last in the last race? Oh. Reached our qualifying goal. Thirty first. We are a god among men. Starting eighth in heat race number three. Oh my goodness! Look at that! Look at all those guys. They suck. All right, let's uh. Let's see how we go here. Starting, what was it? Seventh, eighth. Only top five go through. I don't like our chances of that. <laughs> that was a pretty good lap in qualifying. We're going to go backwards here, I think, for sure. But anyway, we'll see what happens. <laughs> This dude running the line that I want to run, and we are going to the back. We learnt in the last race that we did at Kokomo. If you, oh, that's contact. 
You go to the bottom and wash off all your momentum, you're cooked. It's not looking good right here. Oh, we just got passed right around the outside. I'm getting deja vu from the race at Kokomo where the same things happen. Oh, no, no, we're stuck together. Oh! Nailed it. Oh, they all went past me. We've got no choice here. We're going to have to start looking to run. Oh! That's a caution. Oh! We get a yellow. On the inside here. God, there's just no drive though. The thing's so sluggish. We got seventh. Is that where we, we started on the outside? Did we start sixth or eighth? I forget. I think we might have gained a spot right there. Maybe. Maybe not. I can't remember. If we did, we went forward to spot. Yeah, oh, how about that? All right. Um, we weren't involved in the qualifying dash. B main. Let's see what happens here. Top five. We start seventh. Oh, we're so close, you guys. So close. Hey, look at that guy. He's got the same number and the same font. Big move to the inside in turn one. Making it work on the bottom at the minute. Hopefully there's no one on my outside because we're going to the top. Oh, we're in no man's land right here. Oh no! Get off the wall. I think we were better on the bottom, weren't we? If we can keep getting a good high side momentum off the corners, we might be okay.
hooked together. Not again. Oh, squeeze. Last lap. Oh, we made the A main. I can't believe it. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, let's go through to the A and see whether or not we can not finish last. Let's see what happens. Oh, we get the national anthem and everything. Can you guys believe it? All right, here we go. Look at us way back here. No man's land. We start 23rd or 25 cars. The thing did not fire at all off the line. See if we can get that momentum up and running again. that dude oh we just dumped him oh no yellow oh we just wrecked the guy whoops my bad we'll say that the car contacts a little clumsy oh my god how bad is it to get off the line look at it job. Oh, no, we're in the wall.
try and do what we did in the B-Bang and just use the momentum to stop him from being able to get past. They'll drive right around you. I don't really have any uh, sense of where they're at behind me. Like the sound doesn't really give me anything. And obviously, I've got no mirrors on, so I can't see. Oh, there goes one to the bottom. Oh! say that the controller handling is quite clumsy. Oh my god, we've been booted all the way back to last. Trying to fit through those little gaps on the straights is very difficult with the controller. These are lead lap cars that I'm apparently racing against. Like a horrible lap car. P21, we did get lapped in the end. I think we were catching those guys there, but just couldn't quite get there for a top 20. But hey, we made the A main, so big gains compared to the first race, so. We'll take that. What does that do for us here? We finished 21st. We are now 23rd in the season standings. $10 worth of merch. Oh! Race payout's about the same as what we got for finishing at the back of the B. Finish event. Confirm. So let's have a quick look here at... Uh, it said that there were sponsor offers after the next race. So let's see whether or not we get any sponsor offers or not. Look at all those fans. 350. Oh my goodness. Look at how worn all our parts are too. New video message from the Outlaws. Here we go. I know it's tough in these first few events, 
I remember when I was just starting out at my local track many years ago. But you're doing great. Just keep focusing on doing your best and try to get into as many features as you can. The sponsors out here like to see consistency. If you do that, your fan base will start to build and you'll be heading out to regional events in no time. Just remember to sink as much money back into your car as possible. It will help you stay competitive. Good luck out there. Thanks, Tony. All right, so we're 22% complete. Tells me there's probably nine races in the first season, I'm guessing. I don't know. Um, current sponsor, no contract. Next contract opportunity, this showcase. Well, that doesn't... Oh, start showcase. Here we go. Oh, what is this? Oh, we didn't fix our car or anything. Whoops. Oh, dear. Is it possible to go back? Hmm. Doesn't look like it. So anyway, we'll see what happens here, whether or not we're about to find out whether or not if your parts expire, if the car fails and your DNF. But uh, we'll do that in the next video, guys. I'm going to wrap this one up right here. Um, that is the start to our career mode. And uh, so far, it's good. I like it. It's got a, a few things that are a little clumsy, like the video messages and stuff. But um, I like it so far. We've got all the things that we need to have. Uh, you've got your cars. You've got to buy stuff, upgrades repairs and all that sort of stuff maintenance so it's got all the bits and pieces that it needs to be good and uh so far i'm having a lot of fun with it i can't wait to keep going so guys that is it for this video thanks for watching follow me on twitter instagram and facebook at hobo88 twitch.tv forward slash hobo88 check out the live streams don't forget the discord channel link is in the description below that is it for this one thanks for watching we'll see you guys in the next one